So if you're anything like me, you're not reading a book unless you're having a conversation with a book. So this is Dara back again with a Notion video. And today I wanted to talk about how I keep my library in Notion and how, especially how I keep the notes from my books um, in there as well. So for me, it's not enough to just catalog that I have the book. I also wanna show like the conversations I've had with the book. So, so right now I'm showing a screen grab of my iPad. So this is a uh, application called Libby. Libby allows you to use your library card to connect to libraries and check out books. So pretty simple and easy to use. Um, you can just you know search for whatever you're looking for. So in this case, I'm looking for Pacific Northwest Medicinal Plants. And then once I find it, I can go ahead and check that out. Um, actually, let's just get another book just so we can see, you know, what it looks like to check a book out. Let's, let's just uh, pick a book here. All right, so here's some random books I pulled out. And you can see none of these are actually of... of this, these are some of these are not available right now and this is place hold just like when you're at a library it says place hold if I want to borrow I can just tap on that and and borrow um, but okay let's get back to the book that we're looking at today which is the Pacific Northwest medicinal plants I actually do own a paper copy of this book it's very rare these days that I have paper copies of books but some of them are kind of kind of worth it to have but then I still like to get the digital version in order to um, be able to take my notes and have my notes captured ultimately in Notion. So using the library then is a perfect use case for this because I don't have to buy the book twice. So let's go ahead. Um, once you hit read with Kindle, it takes you to Amazon and it allows you to check it out. I've already checked this book out now, so it, it has a different uh, button on the on the side it says you know read now with Kindle Kindle app so let's go ahead into my Kindle app and here I am in the book and I've been doing a couple highlights as I've gone these are just kind of random samples to show what can be done so you'll notice the top one is blue the bottom one is orange um, it will track these colors if you're reading right in your uh, Kindle device, of course, there's not going to be any color coding because it is a black and white interface. However, I have yet to actually figure out a good way of, of color coding my, my code, so it doesn't really mean anything to me globally, although I do have one book in which case I did have... Um, a color code theory with the book. So blue was something that I had not heard before. Um, orange was something that I agreed with. Uh, pink was something like, actually that was like, I agreed and I laughed because it was a book that was kind of, it's a philosophical book talking about two different philosophies. And uh, some of the times, you know, he was throwing some shade at the other way of thinking. And so I would laugh and I would hi highlight those in pink. Um, and then I think I use like, you know, yellow for just like something I wanted to just remember. But, um, and maybe those are the colors I don't even know, which is why I don't have a global thing about colors. Maybe that's something that I will uh, invent for myself later on. But anyway, I can use colors and color will show up as a tag next to my note. I can also add notes. So in this case, the note here I added um, for this one is dot C1. And you'll notice that on this one, the note I added is .c2. So what I'm actually telling it is that instead of highlighting the whole section, that's actually bad practice, you wanna just highlight, and I, I might have even highlighted more than I needed here, but you wanna just highlight you know, the important bits in the thinking and then clip those two things together. So what I've told it is those two things belong to each other. So when I see my notes later, I'll see that it's combined them for me. And then this one, I just did a random test tag just to show um, that happening. It happens pretty, you know, pretty quickly as soon as, you know, it's sinking in the background. So uh, once, you know, you've highlighted, then you just kind of let it go and eventually it ends up 
in your Notion space. But let's take a look now at that pathway of what's taking it from my Kindle device and bringing it ultimately to my Notion space. And that is a program called Readwise. It's a great program. You can start for free to just try it out. I found that I wanted my whole library. I didn't want just a selection of books. I wanted the whole thing. So I bought it, but I don't remember the, the price off of my, the top of my head. It is a yearly price, but it was it's pretty inexpensive, especially for what, what we're getting here. Um, I'm only talking about at this point highlighting highlights from my Kindle, but it does highlight from other devices, including there's a podcast app called Air, and it, hi it will take your highlights from that podcast. I've only done one. I haven't quite figured out my rhythm because usually I podcast when walking, and so um, highlighting when walking is, is, is not a thing for me personally yet, uh, something i got to work with. Anyway, so... Let's kind of dive in and see what's going on. So, um, of course, the first connection I need to make is I need to import from something. And so these are all the various places I can import. This is that podcast I was talking about air. Um, so these are all the places that I can bring it. I can also just upload directly. So if I did, you know, do something with a paper book and I wanted to get that highlighted as well, I can take a screenshot and have that brought into this space and then you know i don't know once i took the picture maybe i would even write some notes around the picture I, i'm since i haven't used that yet i'm not sure what i would do with it but the point is that it can be done uh, google play is also in here so if you are a google play person instead of a kindle reader um, that's there as well as another source um and i also love this you know highlighting for medium so you know that's like just from the blog in general all right, so once I've pulled the notes, you know, it, it'll sync automatically for you. You don't have to come here, but if you are try in a hurry and trying to get something, you can hit sync now, and, and then that'll pull it in. Of course, the next space then is to say where I want to send my notes, and so here's where I connect it to Notion. If you're an Evernote or Rome user, you can do that as well. Um, and then I can also, like, highlight it to just, you know, a CSV for any other purpose or to mark down. So um, already I'm thinking mark down would be cool. I could throw it into a quick Jekyll site and then I've got my library online as a website. But anyway, we're talking about Notion. And so what it's going to do for me at that point is it's going to, oh, actually before I get into showing you the Notion space, let's look at when I look at a book. So here are the notes from the book that it's captured. I don't really look at this view because I just look at it in Notion, but what I want you to see is like, yeah, it is picking up those colors. I have a chance to come in here and edit tags. I can, you know, edit what it's highlighted. There's a couple different things I can do in here before it goes into Notion. Here you can see that test tag that I created as a note, um, which is different than like, a uh, tag note so just note that so I could also like add a you know another tag here as well okay but what is cool here is if you're studying you can turn these notes into flashcards for yourself and use like um, you know test yourself on your knowledge so that is kind of a cool resource that you can use right here in Readwise all right, let's get into looking at Readwise in Notion. So when you first sync to Notion, it will create this page for you. Um, the only thing I did to add to the page was I added this quick bookmark just to get back to the Readwise so I don't have to remember the, the URL. Other than that, you're pretty much seeing what they've given you. Um, they start with sorting you by books because most people are using this with books. So that's kind of pre-sorted and then it's it's sorted to showing the latest highlights. So the last book you read, the latest highlights. Um, of course, if you're using any of these other types, you can see those as well. So like I said, I did try my hand at a podcast. Um, it's giving me the list view because it's not really expecting imagery in a podcast, though there may be. 
And of course I have an all view. And then because it's a notions table, I can I can add more views. Like I this table is mine now. I can do what I want with it. Um, when I add new highlights, it just appends to the note. So basically what's happening here, let's open this as a page. When you come in, these first items are created by Readwise. So it's giving you, you know, obviously author title, the link to where it is on Amazon, the last time I've done a highlight and the last time it was synced, and the category it lives in, and then of course how many highlights it's tracking. And then I've added this, I've added my global tags and I've added my reading status. So let's go ahead and say I'm currently reading this. And then I can mark it as a favorite if, if I want to. Um, so now here you can see it's pulled in those tags. Um, I want you to note this in my Kindle. Remember this was those two tags. So it's ellipsed and brought those together as one. Um, and just to show you that, you know, here it is again in the Kindle. And you can see there are two highlights in the Kindle, but they become one in Readwise. So that's actually really powerful. Um, and here's that test tag that I had. So once you have it in this space, then, like I said, you can you can do things. Like I come in, I can come in here and I can add some formatting if I want. You, you know, I can. I can change that. It doesn't have to be exactly like it, it is in the note. It won't change any formatting it, I've done. If I add more information in here, it will not mess with that. All it's going to do is kind of keep adding your new tags and in fact fixing some of the old tags. So originally this brought it in as one, as two tags. And then when I went and, and uh, you know, chose to concatenate them, it did update that concatenation. So. It's got some intelligence about what's there that it can edit and what it, can, it needs to leave alone. Um, all right, so let me show you a couple other things that I've done. So when I was reading this, so this is the Walls Protocol, and as I was reading along, she mentioned that she had um, a TEDS talk. And so I kind of highlighted that space for myself um, so I can get back to that location if I want to. Um, and you see like if I look, click on the location, it actually will open it back up in my Kindle, right from my Notion space. I mean, that's just awesome. <laughs> so here I can see she was talking about this TED's talk. So I went out and I found the TED's talk and I created a task for myself to watch this TED's talk. So originally it's finished now, so I've moved it out of my um, task space and then just into my, I have a database for where I keep stuff around wellness. Um, but originally this was in part of my task stream and so I found the TED Talk and then I listened to the TED Talk in Notion and I took screenshots of the TED Talk, made notes, whatever. But the nice thing is that now this TED Talk activity I had is tied back to um, this, you know, my notes in the library. Another example of something that I've done is that with this particular book, as I was reading it, he has a lot of great uh, diagrams and tables and whatnot that don't highlight as easily into um, this process. Uh, partly because, you see, he, he, it broke the page in what I was reading. So I just did a screenshot and I put it in here and that's, it's, it's perfectly helpful for that. Um, for me there. Um, did I do some other things here? No, that's it. So um, then because it's a table in my Notion space, what I can do is I can go in and I can do a linked database to where I want these things to show up. So this is kind of all my books, but in my herbal study space, I can come down and I can see here are the, the items that are related from my library to my herbal studies. Okay, I think on this one, I've read this book so many times, there's not very many notes highlighted, but I did say like, you know, I need to try this hair cream for my child. So, you know, it's useful for that. So I'll probably end up creating myself a task up here that I will then tie back to um, that book. 
All right. So the other thing that, that Readwise does is it does this daily review. And so the daily review creates a note every day that is just um, quotes or, you know, highlights that it's found in across your books to remind you of things that you highlighted. And it's actually really fun to go back and look at things that you've highlighted and remind yourself of that moment when you were reading that. So not only does it have it here, you know, in this candle calendar, and then of course I can, I can choose um, to view it since it's a table, I can choose different, different views of this table, but it also pushes the latest note to your favorites. And so here are my favorites for the day. And so I can come back and say, oh yeah, when I was reading, you know, writing with power, you know, this is a great quote. And I actually have sometimes taken things that I've highlighted and then I, you know, post it on, on, you know, my social media platforms because I'm like, yeah, this is, this is kind of cool. You can control how many it gives you. So it's giving me right now five. And then this last one is from some other book that they're recommending. So it was a kind of a new way, a great way to find out about books that maybe you should be reading. I'm not sure the algorithm that they're pulling to figure out that this is a book that I might want to read it, read, but um, anyway, this is, that's, that's how that works. So now that I've looked at that, I could, I could mark it as reviewed if I want to. That's a thing that I can, can use that for, but um, it is really kind of cool to see that, that they're, they're using it in this way and helping to remind you. So, so basically, and it, it does give you this, this how to page. I find that um, they have uh, blog articles that tell you a lot more about how to use Readwise than what they have in their help. So um, this talks about that, that integration and, and, you know, some of the things that you can, uh, ways that you can manipulate your content here. Um, so that's pretty, you know, pretty awesome. But um, there's other articles they have in here, like, you know, like I talked about, like how you highlight and, you know, different ways and even that way to do the concatenation. I think that was like a blog article. So, you know, definitely read through their help, read through their blog on different ways that you can um, use this. Oh, here's the, the pricing page. So, um, Okay, well, yeah, so I bought the the full version, which is eight bucks for the year. I mean, that's just incredible. It's, it's awesome that you're getting all of this functionality. And for me, I mean, I'm only using it for books. So I've only kind of touched everything that they say that they can do. So as definitely a product worth it if you are a Notion fan and you want to keep your books in Notion and grab those highlights. I mean, go for it. Um, so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'm, and you find that this is useful in a, in a new way to approach, you know, keeping track of your conversations with books. I mean, I really do wish that I had this, you know, when I was in college and grad school, I would have made such a huge difference like I have you know I, I went back to my parents house the other day and I found um not just the thesis that I wrote for for my uh undergrad um bachelor's of, of arts in, in English but I also found the index cards where I you know painstakingly wrote down quotes that I wanted to use for that for that thesis and um, I mean wow, like if I could have had this and then gone through and just like tag something and said like, hey, this is a quote to use in that book and then strung, strung all those quotes together and wrote my essay around it. I mean, that's just incredible. So, you know, for you students out here who might be watching that, definitely this is something that you must, you must use um, within your study. So, all right, take care. And until next time, this is Dara signing out.